both of these players here are nine years old. We've got Hunter here and my daughter behind Ava. And as you can see, the ball is uh, placed on the ground, so they've got to make a decision to either cut and move forward in more of a diagonal movement, uh, identifying a slightly slower ball, or um, maintaining position behind the baseline and just simply letting the ball come to them, as you can see there. Um, what, it, what this does is it's, they're trying to find on the backhand side, they're trying to find left hand, left foot positioning. And on the uh, forehand side, the right hand side, it's right hand, right foot. What this does by allowing them to get down nice and low, they're also creating this feeling of initiating from the legs and uh, letting the arms stay nice and loose and creating that natural release of the kinetic chain. Um, with Ava, I guess like Hunter here, he releases a little bit better. He, he comes up. Uh, Ava kind of traps her weight down a little bit, so that, that that's a potential teaching moment there I, I could do if, if she's willing to listen to me, <laughs> being her father, which doesn't always happen. Um, but yeah, I mean, they, they, it's just quite a, at, a, at a slow speed, and it's just trying to get that feel, and uh, this is a good good initial, uh, initial exercise to create that movement. Um, here, it's the, it's the same thing, and obviously with these kids being nine, that they're able to catch small balls reasonably competently. Um, if you were doing this with the six to eight, like I said, in the develop, developmental readiness, you might use slightly bigger balls and two-handed catches. Uh, the little rugby ball is just to get that feeling of changing grip and, and shifting from one side to the other. Um, again, right hand, right foot, and left hand, left foot. So I encourage when the ball comes close to them, I, I talk about taking little, little shuffles to adjust. When the ball's a little bit further away, I, I, like that example there, it would be push off the ground which is more of a middle distance. And if I throw the ball a long way, I encourage them to run. So we've got sort of short, middle, long distance sort of cues there. So short, short distance being shuffle, uh, middle di distance being sort of push off the ground and long distance sort of run. So here we're focusing more on the, the short and the middle distance movement. So yeah, there's naturally the, the movement cycle there is, is find the ball, and then recover instantly. So this becomes very automatic, is that keeping the eyes up, looking for the ball, uh, knowing that there's the, a repositioning after every time they release the ball, there's, there's always somewhere to go. Um, and here, I'm putting a racket in the hand. So again, very little focus on technique. It's just being adaptable, changing direction. I'm moving around a little bit. So they've got to have that sort of field vision of knowing where I am. Uh, and they've also got to have that vision focus on tracking the ball down. Again, not thinking about the feet, just finding the ball with the hand and just trying to control the racket head at this point. We can do little individual tasks where I might ask them like, you know, when we're looking at sort of autonomy coaching, it's like, well, you tell me how many you're going to get. I'm not going to tell you, you tell me. And then maybe they have a couple of goes. I, th I think over here gets like sort of seven or eight. And I say, okay, well, is that, is, that, is that you? Is that your potential? Can you go higher than that? You tell me. And then they might say 10 or 11 or 12. And then they're owning their own story. You know, they're setting their own standards. Okay, and here we're moving to the, you can see the transfer of skill here. If you look at the movements, they're very, very similar. Um, getting behind the ball, recovering, right hand, right foot on the forehand there, releasing the kinetic chain. So it's very, very similar to the prerequisite skills. So um, here, obviously, when we get to this point, we can start getting a little bit more technical, giving some more technical feedback uh, if they want it.